Hey, and welcome back to Open for Views. Today, we're going to check out Gunpowder Studios' newest Kickstarter, Seven Moons Heroes of Dragon Reach, a fantasy adventure board game for two to four players. Welcome to Seven Moons Heroes of Dragon Reach. Seven Moons is an original board game from Gunpowder Studios set in a mythical, magical world of dragons and monsters, where two to four players seek to save the beautiful kingdom of Dragon Reach from the impending Shadow Army. How the Reach got its dragon and cast the Shadow of War. Many moons ago, the fertile land of the Reach was home only to the dragons. Fearsome they were, but also wise, and when they saw that their kingdom would grow richer and more beautiful in the hands of the land folk, they let them come. The new custodians lived, worked and thrived together, and peace reigned. On summer evenings, the dragons would watch from their high mountain ledges, contended with their legacy. The folk below would look up at the mountain from their meadows and city walls and raise their hand in thanks for the home they now call Dragon Reach. But not all followed the light of peace and progress. Of course not. Many creatures of evil heart looked on Dragon Reach from their scarred wastelands with envy and hatred and wanted nothing more than to crush its homes, burn its fields, and slay its people. And to do it soon, for Dragon Reach was growing in strength and wealth. The dark forces have agreed an alliance of war. A vast shadow army in numbers uncountable is marching to Dragon Reach. Your rangers have reported that it will reach your borders on the rising of the seventh moon, when it will launch wave after wave of death and destruction, intent on wiping the dragon's beloved land from the map. War is coming. You must prepare. The story of Dragon Reach, the magical kingdom in which Seven Moons is set, is woven richly into the game, giving players an immersive experience with them at the heart of the adventure. I like that little uh, little moon logo. It's cool. Here's the board game. I guess these are the components. I guess. Seven Moons, Heroes of Dragon Reach. An easy-to-learn two-to-four-player board game of strategy, acquisition, and adventure in a mythical, magical land. In Seven Moons, you play as a royal emissary sent out by your monarch into the kingdom to organize the defense of your city against the approaching shadow army. You will travel the lands, buying and selling resources to fill your war chest, building defenses, recruiting allies, and completing quests. Yes, you have little time and much to do, so choose your strategy wisely. Those best prepared have the greatest chance of surviving the monstrous onslaught. The rest will not live to see another moon. The standard game is packed with high-quality components, engaging stories, and enchanting locations. It's got some neat game mechanics, too, and like all of our games, Seven Moon can be played by anyone from 8 to 80 and enjoyed by novice and experienced ga game players alike. Excellent. Thank you, guys. And if you're into even more bling for your buck, check out the Deluxe Pledge. Compare, compete to recruit elves, wizards, giant dwarves, witches, and barbarians to fight for you. Cool. Race to sell wood, iron, and stone on the volatile market when prices are high. There's an economy system. Okay. Venture into the lawless wilderness to embark on quests, seek out treasure and magic artifacts that will aid you in your mission. Bag of holding. The bag of holding! My sir, do you have the bag of holding? Yes, I do! A dragon egg, magical pendant, sword of alliance, invisibility cloak. The challenge of seven moons is to get your city's defenses ready before the shadow army arrives and attacks. You have very little time, and there are many ways to raise gold to build strongholds and recruit allies, so your choices are important factors in your success or failure in protecting your city and the whole realm from the marauding hordes of evil creatures headed your way fast. Ah, yes. All right, we have the dual-sided. It appears we have the dual-sided cards, the female-male character cards, which is excellent. I really enjoyed that about a bag of dungeon. Let's see, Tamriel of Sisters and Avriel, Raya of Temple Haven, and it's either Kalut or Kalute of Temple Haven, Favian of Ironside, and Syndra of Ironside, and oh, little rock guys, and Rocket <laughs> of Stonewood, and Bakra of Stonewood. This one has a hair, it has leaf hair. Lure a dragon as you Lure a dragon as your mount to fly swiftly across the land. What? Heavyweight illustrated character cards hold your resources and provide a handy game reference. You set out 
from your city on foot, but pretty soon you'll need to buy a horse so that you can carry more gear and get around faster. Better still, lure a friendlyish local dragon, and then you'll be flying. Ah, that's cool. Prepare for war, a simple system of traveling, buying, selling, hiring, and building your defenses. Oh, I'm sliding that up and down. Whoops. Upgrade your travel, recruit allies, realm prices. Trade goods for gold or bank them to build strongholds. Seven Moons plays simply and smoothly, but is enough of a challenge to keep you entertained and focused game after game. That's another hallmark of every gunpowder game. We keep our game mechanics and rules deliberately simple so that you can concentrate on your game plan and how you're going to win. Epic quests, awaiting a hero. Earn precious gold and allies, but do you have the time to aid others as war approaches? Probably not, as, as the way these things go. Quests are a great, way, a great way to swell your coffers and gain allies to fight for your city, but they're risky and take precious time you may be reluctant to spare. Fail, and you'll have nothing to show for your efforts. Succeed, and the rewards will have been worth the time and trouble, and your name will be in the Hall of Heroes. The wilderness holds many dragon, many dangers. Not dragons. The dragons help you in this, <laughs> apparently, and you can ride them, but they're feisty. The wilderness holds many dangers, but great rewards for any brave soul who enters its embrace. Venturing into Dragon Reach Wilderness is foolhardy, dangerous, and often very rewarding. You can also travel through the wilderness to reach destinations faster. Though bandits may relieve you of your gold, and your dragon may decide to flee. <laughs> but if a risky shortcut means getting your resources to market before the other players to beat them to the highest price, it could be a risk worth taking. Shadow Army spies watch your every move. I like this guy. I'm evil! Recruiting allies and building strongholds. Moves the Shadow Army closer to war. Plan your strategy carefully. Ready your city too far ahead of others, and you may be handing victory to the Shadow Army. Build your city's defenses too late, and it may be the first to fall. Seven Re Moons requires a fine balance of gameplay as it nears its end game, the attack of the Shadow Army. As your city grows stronger, the Shadow Phase draws closer, but while it may be tempting to get your defenses in place as quickly as possible, if your fellow players are far from ready when the Shadow Army attacks, you put the whole realm at risk of defeat. Then again, you don't want to be the one who's still building their first stronghold when Chaos descends on Dragon's Reach. Hold on, guys! I'm almost ready. Just give me a minute. I mean, you. everybody read, are you ready for this? Everybody read that and thought the same thing. You're at a game. You hear it. Some guy's falling down in front of you. Have you done enough to withstand the unstoppable onslaught of the Shadow Army? Any one of these diabolical legions could spell doom for a city. Wave after wave of foul creatures will test your decision-making and strategy in the final showdown. A lot of game for your gold. Oh, my goodness. Okay, there is a, a lot of... Well, a lot of... That looks like a rainforest's worth of components. <laughs> Let's see. Dice, cards, cards. Gold coins. Resource tokens. Wood, stone, and iron. Ally tokens, dwarves, elves, giants, wizards, witches, and barbarians. Wilderness, dragon crystal, quest tokens, character cards, moonrise track, and shadow army token. Market board. Market dice. Green for wood, blue for iron, black for stone. Twelve meeples. Foot? Oh, like on foot. <laughs> I was like... Foot meeples? What? But it's for, for the traveling. Traveling by foot, traveling by horse, and traveling by dragon. Twelve stronghold towers. Ten quest cards. Shadow phase marker. Five magical artifacts. Full color 12 page rule booklet. We don't scrimp on components because we know that one of the most fun things about getting a new board game is opening the box to reveal the abundance of treasures crammed inside. Deluxe version? Oh no. Plus... 46 metal coins in a luxury velvet bag, custom design for seven moons, and then these... <laughs> these people look like they're on fire. <laughs> on fire. <laughs> Help us, please, Lord, please, we're on fire. Plus 27 unique wooden playing pieces. A Kickstarter exclusive. They're on fire. Look at this. <laughs> they're all aflame. 
If you wish to pledge a little more towards our target, I'll send you a deluxe version of the game filled with even more goodness. Real metal shiny Dragon Reach coins and a proper wooden pl and proper wooden playing pieces to replace some of the cardboard tokens in the standard game. It's a nice box. I like that art. Go forth into the lands and prepare our kingdom for war! Back of the box. Cool. Custom playing pieces. 25 wooden meeples, including Foot Traveler, Horse, Dragon, and four player colors. A Shadow Army token and 12 wooden strongholds. The rest of the components are made from heavyweight card, including a thick game board depicting the lands of Dragon Reach and its four great cities. Quest and wilderness cards are vividly painted on high quality stock, with engaging narratives for a fully immersive experience. I like these little strongholds. Some dragons. Cool. Nice. Lots of chunky tokens. We all love tokens, right? I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of people do, but we all? It's presumptuous. Seven Moons comes with over 100 resource tokens for wood, stone, and iron, plus the special, dra special dragon crystals, should you discover them. I mean, they're right there in the box. There are also larger components with the magic artifacts hidden within the game, so that everyone can see when you've got one of the game's rare special treasures in your possession. Behold, my Sword of Alliance! Thank you, Clock. I'm recording. Simple rules, smart gameplay. It's going to actually, you know what? Oh, I just bumped the microphone. It's going to, I bumped it with my fist. It's going to ring 12 times. Here we go. And it's over. Thank you for coming back. Simple rules, smart gameplay, and plenty of ways to win. What's this? Pictures of the manual. Rules. Click here to see a preview of the rules. View rules preview. We play tested the game thoroughly, including breaking it several times until we were happy that it was going to withstand the rigors of play in the real world, especially for our loyal backers who will put their faith into making the game into the real world in the first place, but we'll continue refining the rules before we go to print, so that they are as unbreakable as a stone giant's pickaxe by the time you receive your copy. We gifted you this land so that you could tend its beauty in peace. Now you face a mighty and terrible foe full of malice and hatred that craves the destruction of Dragon Reach. It is time for you to learn how to fight for all of that you hold dear, for if you fail... All of it will be lost under an evil, endless shadow. Dragon Runner. Flat shipping. Cool. Safe passage. Green gaming. Seven moons. Very cool. Well, yeah. It, that This definitely looks like something uh, I'm, I'm interested in. Looks very cool. Looking forward to checking it out eventually. Was the, I think it comes out in the fall of this year. I think they said it was September 2021. Very neat, man. But yeah, thanks for checking out this uh, different edition of Open for Views. But as these things go, we were open before, but now we're closed. Beat it!